color change, color difference between the dislocated one and the arm that's holding. Okay, so he approaches and he's looking like that. So I say, well, what happened to you? And he gives us a story of the conveyor belt. Uh, I say, the scene's safe, there's nobody else injured. He didn't fall down from his head. Uh, and uh, he doesn't hurt anyone else. So let's grab the seat. Right here. Switch arms for this. So, okay, so he grabs the seat. We give him a little bit of immediate care. Blanket here. <coughs> okay, I'm going to throw on my gloves. He's not uh, pale and anxious on this one. But I'm looking at his arm and I'm saying, you know what, that arm does not look normal. It's much more uh, pale than the rest of them. And so we're going to check out, as my transport decision, we're going to see what happens when I check a pulse down here. Okay, and I check a pulse, I'm looking for it, and there's nothing here. So our caveat is, we're an hour and a half to medical aid. This is a pale, cool, pulseless limb. Okay, this is limb-threatening RTC. Okay? So I'm going to try and get a hold of the doctor online so that I can realign this or reduce it, but I can't get a hold of anybody on this one. Okay? So then what I do here is I'm saying, all right, so this isn't a good situation. This is RTC. Uh, we've got limited oxygen, so I'm going to see if I can bump the O2 up in the body a bit, give him his oxygen to breathe. Okay, so that's on him. And now I'm going to do a quick head to toe on this limb, and we'll describe that in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to check you out, see if anything else is the problem in here. Let me know if you've got any pain up in here. Okay, and as I come down to the elbow, we see that there's some obvious deformity, and the color change is right about here. So I'm not checking this out excessively for fear of hurting him. When I touch down here, this is much paler and much cooler, and then there's nothing else wrong with the, uh, with the hand. So again, checking the pulse out, and there's nothing there. Comparing it to the other one, okay, and this one has a pulse. This one doesn't, paler than this. So now I'm saying, all right, this is confirmed again, pale, cool, pulseless. We're out of here 10 minutes. I'm going to build that same splint that I did just a second ago uh, for this arm and get him out of here. Did you just walk him out? Uh, yeah, he's not pale anxious until he's in the Okay. Now the other piece of this is, and I just want to be showing you this, uh, if you do you know, call that ambulance, or so you do call that doctor and they're available, and they walk you through the reduction. This is what it's going to look like. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab hold of his hand like I'm shaking it with my finger on the pulse on the inside. So it looks like this. Of course, you never twist it like that. Okay, so I'm holding his hand like this. I'm now going to reach in to here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold. Okay? Especially if it was down like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the arm, I'm going to grab here, I'm going to pull until one of two things happens, until we reach 90 degrees, okay, or I get a pulse that returns. Okay? So that's going to be my method for that. That's what they're going to walk us through uh, on that reduction of the dislocation. Only do it if you get the butterfly. Yes. Other than that, it's whatever position you find that arm in, you splint it where it is, and you get over that seating because what if they pass that like yeah so and that's the other problem right is um, because it's you're gonna you're gonna be doing this they're gonna be unhappy with you um, but I mean now what I might do is I might get the board out lay them down board because that's what I'm gonna move them on in a minute once they pass out uh, and then go for it <laughs> yeah but in the past no we've done it in the seating position